In this video, I'm going to show you how to link to an external file uh, in MopiRise. So let's say you have, um, I'm going to use a PDF as an example. Uh, so if you have a PDF file uh, that you want people to be able to open and look at or to download, uh, all it is is just uh, creating a link inside of MobiRise. But unfortunately, we can't see a live display of that, so we kind of have to uh, write the code on faith. <laughs> so we'll write the code where it's supposed to go, we'll put the image uh, where it's supposed to go, or the file where it's supposed to go, and then when we publish, everything will link up together and you'll see that it works just perfectly. So uh, first we open our project uh, folder here, our, pro our project file in MobiRise, and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do it. The first way we're going to do it is, um, we'll just we'll use a button. So just a standard MobiRise button, we only need one here. And then the second way we'll do it is going to be as a text link. So you can come in here. And we'll just create some text. And then we'll make that into a link so that when you hover over it, you can click on it. And it will download our PDF as well. Then the last thing, maybe you want to use one of these uh, call to action buttons down here in order to download something or highlight it. So let's put that in there and then we'll use this button uh, to help us download it. All right, so we have all of our uh, all of our calls to action in place here. And what we need to do is we need to create a space for that to go. Now, I've already done this and so I know um, I know what to do, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just publish this and we'll, we'll look at the file structure uh, for MobiRise. So let's publish this to my local desktop. I already have a folder set up. So here we can see, okay, all of our links are going to be there. And <clears throat> if we go to this folder, and we can see this is the structure. So you get the project. Um, I have page one and an index. This is in my website, so I have two different pages. And then there's an assets folder that contains all of the JavaScript and the style files. Um, it also includes all of the images uh, that are supposed to be loaded into um, into MobiRise in order for this website uh, to be able to work properly. So what I'm going to do is, I know I want to have a folder called Downloads. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add that into the root. This is called the root of the uh, folder uh, because it's the top level of this folder. So if you go outside this folder, you go to the desktop. So we're going to put this into the root. And we're just going to call it, actually let's call it Downloads with an S. And then inside that folder, that's where we want to put our file. So I'm actually going to go grab one off of my desktop. This is just my resume. So here it is. I'm just going to copy and paste to my downloads folder. So now I have my, res <clears throat> my resume file here. It's in PDF format, you can see. Um, and it's under downloads and then resume underscore 2016 so we need to remember that piece of information <clears throat> now you could go and you could get the uh, you could get the definite link uh, to this by going to properties and then you can see the location of it is here so that's the full link and it connects it to users Brian desktop blah 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 right but the part that we really need is this part here. So downloads, and then it'll be slash, like this. It'll be slash resume underscore 2016. So that's going to be our what we call a relative link. This is um, this is a hard link. This is a very definite link. Um, but a relative link is relative to the um, the file that's referencing the link. So can look that up online if you want to. So let's go back to MobiRise. 
and now we're going to start inserting our link. So our file is in place and we're going to start inserting the link. Now remember that it's in the downloads folder and then a forward slash and then whatever the name of your file is. It has to be exactly the same. Uh, PDF. Okay. Now I want this to open up into a new tab or a new window when someone clicks on it. That way they can look at it, close it, and then go right back to my website. This is um, generally good web practice to do whenever you're linking to an outside source, whether it's another website or a file like this. And then we'll just click insert link. Actually I want to go back in and I knew I was going to do that. Uh, copy it. I want to copy that. So I can come down here to this uh, piece of text and I can insert the link here and in a new window. Oh, I didn't uh, highlight the entire thing. There was no text to display so it wasn't allowing me to save it. Okay, and then I'll do one more here, just as a matter of showing uh, how to do it with these uh, call to action buttons. So I'll insert the link there. So we have our link inserted in all of our places, and they all should open the same file in the same way, opening it in a new tab or a new window. So I'll just publish. I already have it set to publish to the same folder, so it'll overwrite the files um, that are there. Let's see if everything got linked up. That one did not. I had that issue before where it didn't do it the first time, uh, but the other links did. So you can see that it opens it in a whole new browser because I still have my website here. It opens it in a new browser tab, <clears throat> and then the person can, you know, they can print it or look at it or whatever they want to do. And then let's make sure this one works. So this one works as well. If your link doesn't work like this one, all you have to do is go back into MobiRise and just try it again. Uh, well, let me just resave it. So let's just make a little change. I didn't change anything. I just uh, erased the F and then put it back. So we'll publish it again. Let's see if it will work a second time. Not sure if this is a glitch in Momi Rise, but it works a second time that I save it for some reason. Uh, so there you go. That's all of our, um, that's all of our, th our uh, file downloads. If you want to attach an Excel spreadsheet, you could do that. If you want to um, attach an image file, I download this image or download a, a high resolution image, that type of thing, then this would be the way that you could go about doing that. And I'm going to show you one more fancy way of uh, maybe representing representing a, an icon type of thing where, you know, sometimes you have a screenshot or a shot of the file before you open it. So you can actually use an image to click on something or to open something. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open our file editor. So if you don't know HTML and CSS, maybe this is going to be a little bit more difficult for you. But if you're advanced or you're a coder, you can just insert an image file. And then in the image file, I want to put it, I know where I want to put it. I want to put in my assets, images, and then I'm going to just call it uh, resume dot jpg so I already know what I want to do with it I need to wrap this in a link which is going to go to um, downloads slash my file name remember that's where our, our actual file is going to be stored there dot pdf then I'm also going to make this, I'm going to force it to open in a new window. And the way you do that is under the, so you have the A link, and then there's href, uh, which points you to the source file. 
And then you can also add in target equals and then underscore blank. And that will actually open a, any link. Oh, spell target. That'll open any link in a new tab or a new window. So just a little something for you there. Um, we'll wrap that in an A class. Uh, I mean in an, an A selector. Um, okay, I think that should be okay. And then this, this pulls out where our image is that we want to use. It's going to be kind of like an icon where you click on it and it opens the link. Uh, so this would be that image. And then this points to the actual file that we want people to download. Now we need to create this because it does not exist right there right now. So let's go ahead and save. You can see it's not ever going to show up in here because I'm not adding it through MobiRise. If I were using um, some sort of like this, like where there's a predefined um, image, then it would show up in here. But because I'm adding it into the code myself, it's not going to show up. So you just need to know it's there. In fact, what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of uh, CSS. So to the image file or the image um, tag, I want to add a box shadow. Adds like a little drop shadow to it. Then do that. You can see a little box shadow, little drop shadows all around it, um, which will show up around our image and you'll be able to see it better. Okay, so we want to publish this. And then it's telling me that the file doesn't exist, which is true. Uh, but even after I put it in there, the file is not going to exist. So right now, I still have my link is there, but it's just not showing up because I need to point uh, a file to it. So if I open my resume, one way that I would go about doing this is just to open the file and then um, You can just take uh, like a screenshot of it. I like to use a program called FastStone Image Viewer because this is real slick. This is what it does. It gives me the option to do screen capture. And so I just do, uh, I can capture the region or a whole window or just whatever the foreground window is. So I can go down all the way to uh, a freehand region. You know, I can do a lot of different things with uh, screen captures. So I'm just going to choose a rectangle. And I can go in here and choose whatever part of the image that I want to capture. And I'm going to save this as file download test. I put it in assets and then I put it in images. Now I'm going to call it. I've already done this. Yeah, I'll call it uh, resume dot, and then it'll be a dot jpg jpeg. So I'm going to save that. And now, if I go back to my download test, I have my assets, images, and then here I have resume dot jpg. You can see that it's just kind of a little thumbnail image. Uh, that I can put into MobiRise, but in MobiRise I've already done it. So if I look at this, I can see that I've already included the image source as assets slash images slash resume dot jpg. So I made the link before I even put the image in there. You could put the image first and then link to it. Doesn't matter. Uh, just as long as this link is there, and then the image is in the folder where you want it to go. I'm going to save that. I'm going to republish it. It's telling me that it's not there, but it's because I put it in by hand into this place. So don't worry about that. And then when we scroll down, it's magically there. So this is our thumbnail image. So let's say you wanted a little text over here and you want people to be able to click this. Then you could click on it. 
and it opens in a new window or you can use one of these download links like this. So that's a few different ways uh, for you to go about downloading um, external files. You can also use this to link out to external websites or different parts of your own website. Uh, links are non-discriminatory so you can just use them to go um, internal which is throughout your website or you can use them to go to external sources uh, which can even include files or videos or YouTube videos or um, audio files. There are lots of different ways that you can link things up. Uh, but in MobiRise, this is how you'll go about doing it. It's not always um, for external files. It's not very cut and dry. So you got to kind of match things up between the MobiRise files and the files that you actually have to insert into the, uh, the published website files. So. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email me. My email is brian, B-R-I-A-N, at highwaywebconsulting.com. Uh, you can also send me a tweet or follow me at Brian Hafferkamp, H-A-F-E-R-A-A-M-P. Um, also, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. So for those who have just subscribed already, thank you very much. We're up over 300 subscribers now, which is awesome. And um, it, you'll, the advantage of that is that every time I put out a new video, I believe YouTube will send you a notification saying, hey, there's been a new video uploaded. Uh, go check it out. So you can keep up with the work that I'm doing with MobiRise uh, without actually having to you know, go back and try to find me each time. So uh, I hope that you subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section of this video. Uh, if there's something else that you'd like me to cover, uh, please let me know. So this, this tutorial here comes from someone sending me a question about how to attach files. And so um, that's, that's where this comes from. So <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.